In this lesson, we are going to learn about the function of prisms in optical instruments. A telescope is an optical instrument used to look at far objects. But why don't people use telescopes for bird watching? People use binoculars instead when they go bird watching. Click on the buttons to view the bird through a telescope or binoculars. A telescope gives an inverted image, which would be all right if we are looking at planets and stars, but not when we are looking at birds or people. A binocular gives us a stereoscopic, three-dimensional image of the bird because we look at it with both eyes. The binocular also gives us a magnified, upright image of the bird, unlike the telescope. How does the binocular do this? Binoculars consist of three main parts: eyepiece lenses, prisms, objective lenses. The objective lenses of a binocular collect light and focus the image of distant objects. The more light collected, the more detailed is the image formed. The image formed by the objective lenses is both upside down and laterally inverted. The prisms will invert the image the right way up and the right way round. We shall look more into this later. The prisms also serve another useful purpose. In binoculars, prisms reflect the light back. Because of that, binoculars need not be as long as telescopes. It is the eyepiece lenses that magnify the image formed by the objective lenses, so that you see a magnified image. How do prisms help to invert the image and also shorten the length of binoculars? Prisms help to invert the image by a series of total internal reflections. The Poro prism binocular consists of two pairs of right-angle prisms. They are offset from each other so that the objective lenses are spaced farther apart than the eyepieces. This gives Poro prism binoculars the zigzag shape. The prisms offset the line of sight and invert and reverse the image formed by the objective lenses the right way round. The prisms also reflect the light back and forth so as to shorten the binoculars. In the roof prism binocular, the objective lenses line up directly with the eyepieces. This results in a streamlined, compact, and often more lightweight binocular. Here, the prisms also invert and reverse the image and shorten the binoculars so that it is not as long as a telescope. However, Poro prism binoculars produce brighter and sharper images than roof prism ones. Why don't we use mirrors instead of prisms to reflect and invert the image? Prisms don't scatter light and therefore can produce excellent contrast. Also, they never age. The disadvantage with prisms is that some amount of light may be lost and so the image may not be as bright. Also, prisms may introduce chromatic aberration. Prisms are also used in many other optical instruments. Can you think of some other instruments that use prisms? This arrangement of right angle prisms is used in periscopes. The prisms change the line of sight so that the viewer can see objects over obstacles. The images formed by prism periscopes do not have double images, which may occur with mirror periscopes. This is called a single lens reflex, SLR camera. The pentaprism in the camera 
allows the photographer to see the actual real image that the film will be exposed to. The camera has a slanted mirror positioned between the shutter and the lens. The inverted image formed by the camera lens is reflected off the mirror onto the translucent glass. The prism flips the image the right side up and redirects it onto the viewfinder window for the photographer to see. When the shutter button is clicked, the camera quickly switches the mirror out of the way so that the image is directed at the exposed film. When you look at an object high in the sky, your neck will be bent at an uncomfortable angle trying to look through the eyepiece. A diagonal prism can be used to permit a comfortable observing position. The diagonal prism diverts light out to a right angle to the telescope's main tube. Prisms are essential components in optical systems. Prisms bend, reflect and fold light so as to change the line of sight, shorten optical pathways, invert images.